Okay, let's do this. I tried to do a video last night or the other night. Live did not quite work so well. So we're going to do a recording and try the other variant that we have. We're going to be looking at Dandy's Dead Moon Night Imperial Stout coming at 10% alcohol by volume. There we go. It is contains barley, hops, water, yeast, and oats. It's an extra strong beer. Hence the last moon of the year 2023. So this was brewed about five months ago, I guess. So yeah, uh, we're going to have a quick peek, see what we have. And you know, the usual, go from there. Two seconds. That should work. Okay. Yeah, not looking too bad. So I don't think it's a, it's not barrel aged. It's just a very strong stout. Very dark stout. Tan head on there. One finger's worth. We know where that goes. The smell. Not really getting much off there. A little char. A little bit of a tinny smell, but I think that's because it's been in the tin for the bin and camp for a bit. Other than that, let's get into it. Cheers. Okay, you do have the roasted notes on there. Chocolate, coffee, roasted notes of nice roasted malt. Not bad, not bad. Alcohol's not there. Um, aside from that, a little bit of a tinny taste on there, as I said earlier. Had the smell, it's got the taste in there too. Uh, medium bodied. It's all right. It's decent, it's gonna be a sipper. It's not one of my favorite stouts. Um, out of 10. Six. I imagine that it'd probably be better fresh, but this right now it doesn't taste that great. So, and the thing is, I can't find a damn date on here. I wish I could, because I tell you how long it'd be. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't tell you the date. So, I'm just gonna go with yeah, as uh, the end of uh, November, early November, early December, maybe end of December. I don't know, but yeah, it's just. Tastes like it's in the tin for a bit. Tell me, have you had this one before? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Again, from Dandy Brewing, it's the Dead Moon Night. Imperial Stoke coming at 10% alcohol by volume. I had the coffee one, and the coffee was more prominent. Now that I taste this, I remember the coffee being in the other one. Oh boy, was it in the other one. So that's pretty good. Helped me with watching the game last the other night. It's going to help me with watching the game tonight. All right, folks, until next time, I'm Dan, a.k.a. The West Canadian Reviewer, saying go Canucks, go. Cheers. Stay frosty. We'll see you real soon. Thanks again for joining. Have yourselves a wonderful and safe evening. Have a good one.